Welcome. We're going to take you on another van trip. A trip we're affectionately calling the 2020 Dam Trip. You'll figure that out in a minute. <laughs> We're starting this trip in our own hometown. At a dam that was built for a, the same reason that most of the dams that we're going to visit on this trip were built, to protect from flooding and to save lives. We're it's at Kerr Scott, Scott Reservoir, Reservoir dam, dam in Wilkes County. So as you can see, this trip is all about learning about dams, about saving lives, about electricity that's generated from dams. We're gonna learn a lot of dam stuff. Right? Right. <laughs> and you can see we brought our kayaks because we're gonna be next to water or in the water or by the water camping. And we wanna be able to get out into the water and have a good time. We also wanted to be able to get out on our kayaks because summer is quickly coming to an end. You can hear from the lake traffic that we're here at the lake at Kerr Scott Reservoir, but stop number two is going to be the Fontana Dam, which has a lot of sentimental value to me, and I'll explain that to you when we get to that stop tomorrow. The next dam we'll visit is the Santitla Dam. The dam, what? The Santitla. <laughs> Santitla. <laughs> And then, stop number four, we hope to see a damn bear as we stop at <laughs> Cage Cove in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. The next stop will be the Douglas Dam at Douglas Lake. We have campsites reserved right on the water. We'll be able to pull our kayaks right down to the water's edge. We we're pretty excited about that one. We've never been there. Stop number six on this trip will have us looping back around to Watago Lake, where we'll get to see one of the deepest man-made reservoirs. Look at that. That idiot just come right into our picture. It's all right. That's what you do on a lake. It is. Stop number six will have us looping back towards home, Watago Lake Dam, which created one of the deepest man-made reservoirs in the United States. And stop number seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever it turns out to be, we just don't know. We're gonna kind of play this by ear. We kind of know when we want to be back, but we really don't have anything that's making us come back home right now for having a good time. There are seven dams on the Little Tennessee and the Tennessee River alone, and we're pretty close to all of them. The only thing that'll keep us from visiting any of those is our self-made rule of we need to stay within four hours of our home. Watch this. That there is a Redneck Lake motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Along the way, we're going to do a lot of kayaking. I may get my fishing rod out a couple of times. We're going to take our e-bikes and hopefully get some good bike rides in. And almost every place we're staying is going to be dry camping or boondocking, which should help us figure out if these new Lion Energy lithium batteries are going to be a good purchase. We're already thinking that it is but this trip is gonna prove that to us for sure. So did y'all notice? I went and shaved for this trip. I did. <laughs> <laughs> nice and smooth. Smooth, baby. <laughs> <laughs> smooth. <laughs> did notice it makes my big ass nose look more big ass, but hey, whatever works, you know. <laughs> he said the beard made him look old, but. It did. But then he said, now my nose looks bigger. So <laughs> I don't know which one's My nose worse. matches my ears bigger now, better now. I could shave my hair off and then all the gray will be gone completely. You could just wear well, a hat. <laughs> First, we need to go have a little fun on this lake. We don't have a redneck motorcycle to ride, but we do have kayaks. Yes, we do. Let's put them in the water and have some fun.
something really, really special about being out on the lake like this. It is some kind of sweet. And we get to be out on the lake for at least a week, maybe two. sitting there chilled out. She has it figured out. This is her happy spot. If you guys didn't know that, we rescued Maggie beside of a river and water is her happy spot. Any Mag, water is your happy spot. swim for you. <laughs> yeah, she's my. This is four pole drive right here. <laughs> Maggie got hot, so putting her in for a little swim. What you think, Max? They won't let go of you? No, he won't. Easy getting her out. Getting her in. Does that feel good, Maggie? <laughs> shake it off. Okay. We're shake. We're shake. Oh man, that was close. I started to pull off with my phone on, on this cover. Oh wow, that was, oh what an idiot. <laughs> so sometimes when you get in a hurry, yeah, that's when you just about make a mistake. Yeah, somebody was waiting on us while we were putting the boats up. So, yeah. so we tried to hurry and put them on the back of the trailer, which we can do pretty quickly, but I forgot the phone was back there. Fun time at the lake, what a start for our 2020 dam trip. We're glad you're along for this damn trip. So how many times do you think you're going to say damn in this episode? Damn if I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today. Each day we'll release a new video in this series as we daily vlog our trip. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the notification button and you'll know when we put a new video out. Which will be every day. Which will be every day. And these are going to be short and sweet. We hope something epic happens every single day. But whether it does or not, we'll share the good and the bad, the interesting and maybe even the boring as we share every mile of this damn 2020 trip. Or is it 2020 damn trip? I don't know. It's a damn van trip. I don't know that we can show van, every damn no, trip. I don't think we can show every mile every mile that we take in 10 minutes a day. Oh, we can't, can we? Uh, We'll just show you the highlights and yeah. the low lights. <laughs> you got any low lights? I got oh. a lot of low lights. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Get out of the way. We're pulling out.